Then the DFS community is Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. I'm hoping everybody had a wonderful 4th of July, and you're not too full off the barbecue, but yeah, I hope y'all guys have fun with your families, guys. I'm a veteran, so yeah, I actually enjoy watching the fireworks, watching the, watching the fireworks in New York. All right, guys, so before I get into all of my DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my word for today is inner child. Guys, sometimes we could be too mature as adults. Sometimes we could be too grown as adults. And we forget our inner child. It's okay to run around and have fun. And, you know, if you have a lady or if you have a man, you know, throw water balloons at each other sometimes. You know, poke each other in the, in the side and pillow fight and just enjoy yourselves you know with your kids it's okay to get out and run around with them you know you don't have to always be that stern guy or that stern woman sometimes you could just lay your head down and just be silly just be absolutely silly you will you will have so much more enjoyment out of life when you can relive your inner child the reason why kids have so much fun because they are honest with their emotions. They can be silly and they can make googly faces and just have so much fun. Sometimes we get so caught up in our work environment that we just we're straight, hard nosed, making money, making money, making money. All that's fine and dandy, but you got to have a balance. So don't forget your inner child. All right, I'm gonna leave it there with inner child, guys. Let me get into my um, my DFS for today. And I'm going with um, um, pitcher Gaza. All right. The Baltimore Orioles is one of the highest strikeout teams in the league. And that's my team. And I love my team to death. But we're now without Davis, which is one of our best hitters. Trumbo got hurt yesterday, who was our best home run hitter. And then our, our best on base hitter is our shortstop, Hardy. Those three guys are out. You got three young guys who have been striking out a lot. So I think Gaza is going to have a big day. I think he, and this is the number one team in this division. The Orioles is not really good on the road. I think Gaza goes off. Um, he only has to worry about two guys. He has to worry about Shoop and Mancini. If he gets past them two, and Shoop homered yesterday, so the odds of him homering again today are very slim. All right, so next I'm going with second baseman Villar. Um we're putting a rookie pitcher out there that we just brought up from AAA. Um, I don't like rookie pitchers going on the road in a hostile environment, going up against this Milwaukee team. Guys, stack Milwaukee. Um, if you create three lineups, make sure you get every hitter from Milwaukee in because I think that it's going to be a lot of hits from Milwaukee in this game. I'm going back to Thames. I know it's left on left. I just think that this young pitcher is going to put one or two pitches over the plate. And, and Thames, when he gets hot, he goes on three, four game hit streaks. I think he's about, about to start. Uh, he had two home runs yesterday. I think he gets another one tonight. And he already has 23 home runs, guys. And his price just doesn't go up. And he has a, a, a 240 bat, a 248 bat average. But against young pitchers, oh, he's gonna be, he's gonna do really well. And I think Cleveland. I would stack Cleveland and Milwaukee, guys. I think Cleveland is pissed off. I mean, they had that, that picture from um, San Diego yesterday shut them down. They had zero runs. It was a one to zero game. And San Diego is an improving team, guys. Don't think that they're doormats anymore because they're not. But I'm going to go with Lindor at shortstop. I think he bounces back and has a pretty big day. All right, so that's it with my, um, my full horsemen. All right, guys, when you're playing DFS, if you ever come in first place in an unlimited GPP, that should be the last time you play FanDuel for money. That's my goal. When I when I land first place, and it will be coming soon, in an unlimited GPP, I'll be done. I'll probably land first place in an unlimited GPP in, in NFL because I, I, I placed 10th in um, NFL. I placed 10th, 12th, and 15th in an unlimited GPP. I did really well in NFL. Like I told you guys, I won from week three all the way up to week 17. MLB, it's skill and luck. The skill comes in by picking the right game. The luck comes in by getting all four of the hitters or the all three hitters that will hit that game. That's where the luck comes in. But the skill is to get the right game and to get the right matchups. 
all right so i'm gonna leave it there with my dfs hope you guys like what i did you can hit the like button you can subscribe to me and guys don't forget to win win give people what they want so you can get what you want and guys think in ink write it down so it can come true all right guys so we are on to today love y'all